Hi guys, I'm Brianna Gorski and this is Rosie and welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about sleep because I got to start with a story folks. I have been traveling a lot this past month and I just have not been sleeping well, but not last night, the night before. I made my bed, made it so comfy and cozy. I didn't have to wake up early the next morning. So I binge watched a little show, went to bed around midnight, and I woke up around 7.30 in the morning. Tell me why that was the best sleep I have had in like at least a month. I woke up feeling so refreshed, so ready to start the day. I was ready to start the day. I didn't feel rushed like I had to do anything. I just watched more of my show because I knew deep down like I was going to have time today. I was going to be productive. And the only thing that changed was that I actually got enough sleep for once. I prioritized a sleep routine and I got the right amount of sleep. And my day was just fantastic actually. So today's video, I kind of want to talk about the importance of sleep because like genuinely sleep is so important for you guys. Like literally, if you want to have a productive day, you want to be in the right mindset, like to manifest, to get yourself into that high vibration. Like I talk about self-care and everything and sleep is a huge part of self-care. You want to kind of connect your body, soul, and mind and like spiritual well-being all in one. And prioritizing sleep is like one of the best ways to do that, honestly. So I guess the first thing to figure out is how old are you? <laughs> like figure out your age and then kind of look up like how much sleep do I need for my age? I know people who are still in high school, like still in school need, um, I think it's like at least like seven hours of sleep and all that but I think like from what I've heard like the girls the gals need a little more so kind of look up how much sleep do I need for my age and kind of work from there you know figure out how much sleep you need and then if you have to wake up to go to school or work in the morning figure out okay this is the time I need to wake up so around this time is the time I should be falling asleep right and then you can kind of work with that to figure out how to make your sleep really good. Like, do you need to have like a cooler or a warmer environment? Do you need to have like a huge nest of pillows like myself here? Do you need to have it completely dark in the room? Do you like a little ambiance, like a little like ocean sounds or whatever? Maybe you don't know. Maybe you want to try something out. Like that is like super legitimately cool that you could just do that and make like your sleep routine fun because I feel like I like put off going to sleep because I just want to like watch a show or do whatever and get some work done so knowing what makes you procrastinate sleeping and making sure that you get that done beforehand is like genius it's a great way to make sure that you're getting the sleep you need and like I said like I just like I like when I got that really good sleep I was binge watching Criminal Minds I've just been wanting to do this for so long and like the vibes were so there like the vibe oh my god it was so good I was just like chilling in bed got my heated blanket on and I was just watching a little show drinking my little water life was literally so good and I was thinking to myself like this is such a main character moment like I'm eating right now and it's all about creating that atmosphere in which you can be comfortable and be ready to let your brain rest because guys we need rest we're human beings like we can't avoid sleep we actually really need it so when we prioritize letting our bodies rest, we're allowing ourselves to have the energy to like work and get things done and be in a higher vibration because we are caring for ourselves. We are putting ourselves on a pedestal, which is so important. We are loving ourselves and we are caring for ourselves by allowing ourselves to get this sleep so that our bodies and our minds and our souls can be ready to start a new day. Hold on, my eyes are like super itchy because I've got like mega allergies right now. <laughs> Pollen season. Um, but yeah, like I just can't stress enough like how important sleep really is. Like 
I don't know, man. There's just something about it, you know? Like, think about it. Think about, like, a time, like, maybe you were just so tired. And you were like, I have to take a nap. And you woke up and that nap was, like, the best thing you've ever had. And you woke up feeling so ready to start the day. Even just, like, maybe you had a really good sleep. And think about how good your day was. Right? Like, the magic of getting enough sleep. Literally. You know? And the feeling of putting yourself first. Like, that's how you get into the vibration in which you can step into your dream self. Because you are putting yourself first. You are caring for yourself. And once you put in that work towards yourself, the world around you will reflect that. So other people will allow that level of care to come to you. Like, putting yourself first is just, like, super important. And getting enough sleep is an easy, easy way to do so. And it's kind of fun, too. Like, you can make a whole little ritual of it. Like, that is so main character energy, you guys. All right, this is kind of all I have to talk about today. So today's video is a little bit shorter. Hope you folks don't mind. If you want to book a one-on-one -on -one manifestation coaching session with Moi, you can do so in the link in the description box. Um, please like, subscribe. And comment down below your favorite fruit because I've been like in a blueberry mood, but like, I want to know what you guys like. Let me know. Okay. Bye-bye.